So Cytosat is a quality improvement tool and have been, has been developed to really support and guide the implementation of safe handling practice in low and middle income countries where access and use of cytotoxic drugs are increasing. So it has a bit more than 130 items uh, categorized in 10 domains covering the whole cytotoxic process. So for example, items regarding logistic aspects or prescription, compounding, administration, waste disposal, etc. And all items have been validated by a panel of international experts in oncology pharmacy practice. So, so far, Cytosat has been implemented through a survey so and now the tool is available online free of charge on our website which is farmed.net and uh, i would say that the first challenge we have now of course it's to make more people aware that it exists and more people to use it so collaboration with uh, international professional association like ISOP or even national organization can help us to really promote the tool and maybe also to provide additional uh, language translation like Spanish or Portuguese to reach more countries. And the second challenge I would say is that unfortunately safe handling of cytotoxic drug is uh, still a neglected aspect in many low income countries and collaboration with more international organizations like WHO could be interesting to really integrate safe handling uh, in more comprehensive cancer control programs so that uh, in the future access and use will be automatically uh, use of chemotherapy sorry will be automatically automatically linked to safe handling so so far we have a bit more than 50 healthcare facilities from a bit more than 30 low and middle income countries who tested the tool. So it gave us a broad overview of practice in a wide variety of diverse settings. And uh, it highlighted strengths and weaknesses in each settings. So it was really interesting. And it really showed that there is still a huge gap in safe handling practice, especially in low and middle income country, and that gap needs to be filled. And it was also an opportunity to get feedback from intended users, so we were really happy to get really positive feedback and on the usefulness and applicability of the tool in local settings. So we have recently developed a set of educational resources um, for safe handling of cytotoxic drugs such as e-learning lessons, video tutorials and other supporting documents like checklist procedures and all these resources are already available online on our website Farmed and uh, we will try to next to assess the impact of such training materials in um, on the improvement of practice in several African hospitals. And so we will conduct uh, soon a before after study where Cytosat will be used as a tool to measure a potential change in practice.